I always wanted to be a skater, to feel my feet glide gracefully over the ice, to feel the cold wind gently kiss my face. But why am I scared? Yeah, no, on and off, I've been working for this ice rink for maybe my seven years. And I will tell you now, in that seven years, I've never ever seen a black person on that ice. Eh? I mean, there was a lady who tried. She, about three years ago, she tried. She was there on the edge. And I, got, I told her, I said, hey, wait, wait up, wait up. And she came to her senses. It was now or never. I had to try at least once. I have never been more prepared. I rented my perfect skates and wear my favorite Fadzel jeans. People who say they can and those who say they can't have one thing in common. They are both often right. I can skate. And uh, yeah, this guy. What was he doing? I was having trouble staying on my feet. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. And then I saw him, and I knew there and then that this dream wasn't just for myself, but for everyone. I was skating for all of us, for the young child in the townships with a dream. I had never heard a hero before until I saw him. Oh, he was my hero. I've always wanted to see a black man on ice, and it happened right in front of my eyes. Oh, I'm so satisfied. I can die now anytime. Jesus, come take me. I was skating for those I left behind, even the Nyalpe boys. I was skating for Mandel. Straight. Who told him he could do that? This jumping and turning, landing on ice is for white people, not us black people. I'm sure Mandela is turning in his, in his grave. He did not die for this. <laughs> what Papa? I hope he's learned a lesson. He's learned a lesson. He must go play soccer, things like those. He mustn't come and do these things here. What Papa? Yeah, he's torn quite a few ligaments, but I think he's going to be okay. Yes, I'm going to go straight up. Now, I'm going to pin the pin. I'm going to pin the ice cage to the bottom. It's hard. Please, tell me something about the ice cage. I'm going to go straight up. 